where you at, Joe? What are you doing? All right, so just a little better view of last night's damage. It's broke one of the collar ties here, or one of the ceiling joists, I guess you'd technically call it, but um, basically it's just a, a brace that I had in. Uh, I had three of them in to help hold the roof together since there's no wall to nail them to currently. Uh, several of my lath pieces broke loose when the roof fell. This side fared okay, but definitely uh, if you look at the end here, uh, the entire the entire roof should be vertical and it's just canted over so hopefully um, When I start screwing the metal on top I can pull everything squared up again And so what I did I had my pin set up right here and the open end of the pin was facing us I hadn't put up the fourth panel yet and I was just gonna drive straight in To that section and just set the roof on top what I didn't account for was was this large hump that goes down and i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's a it's a nice little bump that just goes down so the tractor was pointed at a pretty good degree downhill the front end of the roof high enough i could get over the pin but the back of the roof kept hanging on the two sides that were sticking close to me and what eventually happened is i i wasn't paying attention i tilted my bucket up so far that the chains that were that were tight around the edge of the bucket coming down slid around the side and they actually came out of the hooks on the back side and so my chains were actually back here on the hydraulic rams and my roof just collapsed it it was pretty terrible i never could get it raised high enough um coming up over this hump to get up on top of that so we wound up um taking it all the way around uh, this was late last night came up between these two trees and finally it just got so dark i just sat it down here so the goal now is i'm going to take it out into this field turn it around and come back um so we're just gonna reorient the pin put the roof on in another direction and see what happens Well, <clears throat> they made it in a pen, and this is the first chance they've been out of a very small cage, about a three foot by three foot cage. Um, and while we do not <clears throat> we do not have the roof on yet, as far as the metal that we're going to put on here, I had to get them out of that cage. It was just way too cramped up. And so this is their first time on dirt without cage under them. This one over here is already trying to take a dust bath and that's something that these chicks they're about two months old now they've not been able to do that yet so uh i'm really glad to get them in here should you raise 12 chickens in a 10 by 10 coop it seems like i did some research on this a while back and they what i found said i think 2.5 or 2.25 probably two and a half square feet per bird and that i think is the recommendation for like a meat bird so they don't need much room at all. Think about a chicken house, how they're all just packed in there. Um, you know, your Cornish crosses, your hybrid chickens, you know, they're gonna grow out in a matter of weeks, uh, weeks to months. Y'all check, y'all check this out. I have been out here walking around and working and these chicks have found something there's actually a baby snake that was in this pen and they have been pecking it to death. That is insane. I have been working this. We all been following along. You know, I've been working out here, you know, just cutting trees and hauling brush and everything. I have not seen the first snake. And uh, 
when we literally get in this 10 by 10 kennel i was just walking through here i literally just put the fourth side on the pen and these chickens have just have literally just scratched up a baby snake and they're now fighting over it y'all check this out that's the one that's got it but i can't catch her no the roof's not on yet uh i i've not had time i mean we we're i think we're 10 days out from the last video that i put up and every single afternoon is something going on so my hat's off to any youtuber who's working a full-time job and able to put out quality content on a uh weekly basis you know that's how my channel started the first 33 videos came out back to back every week and it it, it just caught up to me so um no it's been 10 days i'm definitely slowing down my pace i'm giving you what i'm doing this is what i'm doing Well, everyone, I was going to end the video here, but I am craving some chicken wings for dinner today. And I realized, hey, I've not cooked anything for you guys in a while. Y'all check this out. Check out the blips on the bottom of the page for the how-to. And uh, let's get these bad boys cooked up and we'll wrap up this video. the chickens are fed the chickens are happy as you can tell the roof is now on so this little journey is going to come to an end we finally got the chickens uh situated in their new coop with a roof guys i hope you enjoyed the video hey we've got a lot of stuff planned we got a lot of things coming up especially as the summer months get closer so uh click that subscribe button if you hadn't already hit that thumbs up button leave a comment below what you like about the video what do you want to see more of and we'll catch you next time right here on the j-line